meaning I, don't know or understand the evidence for natural selection, therefore there is no evidence for natural selection. You're looking at one of the oldest fragments of the Quran ever discovered. It's written on parchment, most likely made from sheep or goat skin, and it's been dated by experts as being more than 1300 years old. And that makes it among the earliest known fragments of the Quran anywhere in the world. And it's here in the University of Birmingham. This remarkable document had been resting on the shelves of the university library for decades without anybody realizing just how old it was until a researcher decided to take a closer look. The pages were radiocarbon dated to no later than the year 645, which means the university has found one of the very earliest known examples. Finding out that we had one of the oldest fragments of the Quran in the, in the whole world was fantastically exciting individually and, and for the university of well, as well. I mean, we were expecting it to be early, but we, we did not, I think in our wildest dreams, expect that it would roughly correlate to the lifespan of the Prophet Muhammad, which makes it uh, an incredibly early Quranic fragment. The manuscript had been stored here in a collection of Middle Eastern documents brought to Birmingham in the 1920s. Academics here say that this discovery goes back to the earliest years of Islam. The person who actually wrote it may well have known the Prophet Muhammad. He would have seen him probably. He would maybe have heard him preach. Um, he may have known him personally. And that really is quite a thought to conjure with.
But did you know that the sun and the earth is at a reasonable distance? If it was too close, we would all burn. And if it was too far away, we would freeze. So in this relationship between the earth and the sun, had it changed for even 2%, 2%, there would be no life on this planet. is one of my favorites. As we know, everything is made from atoms, yeah? But there are two forces that are holding atoms together. You've got the electromagnetic force, this holds the structure of the atom, and then you've got the nuclear strong force, this holds the nucleus of the atom. These two have to be at a specific ratio for life to exist. Now what's the ratio I hear you ask? Well, it's one over 10 to the power 16. That's 10 followed by loads of zeros mate, that's all I can say. Now that of course is very very specific. Now if fine tuning wasn't there, there'd be no stars. If there's no stars, there can be no planets. And if there's no planets, there will be no life. Let's get a bit advanced now. At the dawn of the Big Bang, there was something called dark energy. This force is pushing our universe out there. Now this is so finely tuned that if this force was too much, the universe would have exploded and nothing would have formed. If it was too less, it would have collapsed upon itself and again nothing would have formed. Now how much is this force? It's 1 over 10 to the power 120. That is very very specific. So I guess it makes sense when astrophysicist Hugh Ross said that the chance of our planet existing in the universe is so rare that he calculated it to be 1 over 10 to the power 30. That's the chance that a planet like ours could form in the universe. So you see the fine tuning argument guys, it's such a solid proof for the existence of a designer that atheists go to extreme lengths to disprove this. In fact, the best thing that they claim to have come up with is the multiverse theory, which according to the theory is an infinite amount of universes out there, which then means that the chance of a universe or a solar system like ours forming is actually probable. But guys, the multiverse theory is extremely lacking, it's not accepted within academic circles, hmm. and yes, there might be many universes. But we're not asking about many universes, we're asking about this particular universe. I mean, it's just another creative way to delay the existence of God. If you're a reasonable person, it's inevitable for you to start questioning that there has to be a creator, that there has to be a creator.